Hi. In the previous tutorial, we have created several databases and explored backup and restore options. In this tutorial, we configure database monitoring using PMM. Let's open a database page, for example, the first MySQL. Monitoring is currently turned off. In the action menu, let's open editing. Then we open step monitoring. We are notified that we cannot enable monitoring because monitoring endpoints have not been added. We can add the monitoring endpoint immediately on this page. I installed PMM using Docker in Amazon EC2 using the official documentation. We also have a tutorial on how to install PMM on Kubernetes using Helm. You may notice that I don't have any databases connected to the monitoring right now. We need the URL of our PMM. You need to enter a name and select namespaces. Use the PMM user to connect. We successfully added a monitoring endpoint. Now we can enable monitoring and save the changes. Let's check the Percona Everest settings and the Monitoring Endpoints tab. We can see the PMM we just added, and we can also add another one or edit an existing one. When monitoring is enabled, the database is reinitialized. While that's happening, let's enable monitoring on other databases. You have to wait a little while for the monitoring to enable. All databases have moved to up status and we can view the PMM. We can see that MySQL, MongoDB, and PostgreSQL are now being monitored. You can see two PostgreSQL because one is using PMM itself. You can now monitor databases using PMM dashboards. You can also check out the experimental dashboards for monitoring Kubernetes. You can select a cluster, a namespace, and a database. This functionality is currently in development and your feedback can help a lot. Thank you very much. See you at the next tutorial.